Welcome to another episode of Full Build Friday, where I try to build a character from a comic, game, or similar source using the baseline rules of Pathfinder 2nd Edition and the Path Builder app. This week we are exploring some of the new options presented in Paizo's latest book, Howl of the Wild. We're going to start with the ancestries presented within, while I figure out ways to incorporate some of the other options. So let's get into looking at Chiron, the Great Teacher from Smite. Before our teacher steps away from the blackboard and onto the battlefield, let's study some goals for the Scholastic Centaur. Chiron is drawn from Grecian myth, a legendary centaur who is separated from his barbaric brethren as a renowned scholar, poet, astrologer, and teacher. He is best known as the mentor, or maybe mentor, of mighty myths such as Ajax, Achilles, and Perseus, but he steps into the fight himself for smite to war against annihilation. Classified as a hunter, a typically ranged physical damage dealer, he wields a bow, but has some surprising support capabilities. Herbal medicine allows him to periodically prepare a poultice that he uses whenever he activates an ability to heal and empower the lowest health ally, including himself. Of these abilities that can be activated, training exercise targets an area, briefly cleansing and making allies immune to CC before it explodes to damage enemies within. His masterful shots has two aspects. Passively, it causes his attacks to reduce the protection of enemies and mark them. He can consume those marks upon activating this ability to fire a swarm of seeking arrows at these marked targets. His giddy-up ability plays into him being a centaur, involving a charge that damages and knocks enemies behind him. Rounding out his abilities is Centaurus, which transforms him into a constellation for a period during which time he can fire three shots that pierce through everything. Interestingly, if he's slain in the state, he gets to finish shooting his shots and then gets revived if he kills an enemy god. Altogether, Chiron is a ranged combatant who supports and guides his teammates to victory through his role as a mentor. He can channel magic through his bow, as seen with his seeking arrows and shots that pierce walls, and he has the ability to both heal allies and protect them from crowd control. The wild is calling, so let's pick up to build this trampling teacher. Obviously, we will be using the brand spanking new ancestry, the Centaur. The Iron Hoof heritage gives him a more powerful unarmed attack, though its actual use won't become clear until later. For his ancestry feat, we're looking at Centaur lore, to acquire some more skills, better serving to represent his academic achievements. This specifically makes him trained in medicine and nature, which are both going to be important skills for our build. Naturally, our Tactical Trampler takes Teacher as his background, a perfect fit for the character that will make him trained in society, academia lore, and grant him the Experienced Professional Skill feat. And a bit of a twist, this applies to his lore skill, and lets Chiron earn more money as a teacher, befitting his role as one of mythology's greatest. There is a possibility to use the Starlet Span Magus for this build, but truth be told, magic doesn't seem to be that important to Chiron's build, and there are specific aspects that I actually like from the Ranger class. He will use the Precision Edge, mechanically he's going to have plenty of other actions to do during his turn, so this will provide him with the greatest advantage. However, this is also somewhat meant to represent the passive aspect of his masterful shots. Protections and Smite reduce the damage that one takes, and while not directly lowering these, this does help him punch through the defenses of his foes. As for his class feat, Monster Hunter represents both his role as a scholar and a mentor, even if it requires a critical success to provide the bonus to his teammates. With time, that will become much easier. Looking at skills, Chiron would automatically become trained in nature and survival, but we already gained the former from Centaur lore. We will replace that with Arcana, and then additionally become trained in acrobatics, athletics, crafting, occultism, and religion. As a bow-wielding character, Dexterity will be Chiron's primary stat, and Strength may be important for getting some extra damage through the propulsive trait. But I would argue that Wisdom should be his next primary stat, its use is mainly skill-based, but that does feel right for this sort of character. For this skillful centaur selection at second level, I think the protective aspect of Monster Warden, and it applying against spells and similar effects, is an excellent way to represent the very brief CC immunity granted by his training exercise. This is far from a perfect fit, but in general it will be difficult for full-out CC immunity, no matter how short it is, especially as a martial class. We can then start exploring options for his herbal medicine by taking Natural Medicine, a skill feat that will allow him to heal using his nature skill, which he is going to prioritize from among his skills. At third level, an Ancestral Paragon will grant him Skilled Herbalist from his ancestry. 
This gives him alchemical crafting and automatically grants him the formulas for antidotes, antiplagues, and elixirs of life. Furthermore, this lets him use nature to craft those healing items. Between this additional use of nature and that of natural medicine, we will obviously be increasing nature to expert to begin with while his additional lore also makes him an expert in centaur lore. There's a couple of different ways you could go at 4th level, but with some of the focus that Chiron has on working together, I think I like United Assault as his class feat. If he gets a crit with Monster Hunter, his teammates can focus on the target with a higher chance to hit, and he can then follow that up with this action, giving him some extra damage at range, which can be a little hard to do sometimes. Then similar to Monster Warden, Chiron can take Root Magic as his skill feat since it also provides a bonus on saves, though I could also see him going additional lore for Academia lore to increase the effectiveness of experienced professional since Root Magic is as minor an effect as it is. Coming in at 5th level is Proud Mentor, a cool little centaur ancestry feed that lets him gain temporary hit points when a creature he aided gets a critical success on their roll. This is mostly lore based, but I guess you could stretch to say that it's similar to his herbal medicine passive, though limited to himself. It could be fun to combo this with Adopted Ancestry and the aid-focused human feats, but this isn't the build for that. With the ability boosts at 5th level, Chiron will become trained in Diplomacy, while his skill increase makes him an expert in society, letting him recall the histories and legends of a people. During the last level up, Chiron became an expert with his weapons, including bows, which means that he qualifies for the Eldritch Archer dedication. This lets him fire spells through his arrows, and it's probably best to simply use the Arcane List, just to have access to more spell attacks that he can use. I would probably take Gouging Claw or Telekinetic Projectile as the best option from among his cantrips. Then for his skill feat, I'd look at taking Cognitive Crossover for Nature and Society, letting him catch himself whenever he slips up with checks to recall knowledge with either of these two skills. With his 7th level general feat, Chiron takes Fleet, increasing the already high speed that he gains from simply being a centaur and aiding in his future attempts at running foes down. From his additional lore, Chiron becomes a master in centaur lore, and furthermore becomes a master in nature through his actual skill increase. Chiron will gain some actual leveled spells at 8th level by taking basic Eldritch Archer spell casting. He immediately gains 3 spells, and I would start by taking Force Barrage and making that his signature spell. The guaranteed hit of these and the swarm they release feels like a great representation for his masterful shots, though not the only one that we will look into. For his other spells, I'd simply take the spell attack options that appeal to you. They're not a huge aspect of this kit, I will admit, though we will be getting more of these spell casting feats. But as for his skill feat, I'd pick up Consult the Spirits, given that Chiron interacts with the gods and the like, though admittedly mainly through their children rather than them directly. Speaking of his role as a trainer, Chiron takes Mentor of Legends as his ancestry feat at 9th level, so that he can direct his companions to their fullest potential while also shoring up their health. With his nature at master proficiency, this skill increase will go to society to get it up there with his nature. At 10th level, Chiron can take Master Monster Hunter, which is a nice little ability that firstly lets him use nature for all his recall knowledge checks on creatures, and secondly lets him grant the benefits of his Monster Hunter on a success, not just a critical success. As I said when we took Monster Hunter, this is a nice way to buff and guide his allies, befitting his role as a mentor and it's a nice one to add to Arcane Archer's ample arsenal. Additionally, he acquires a skill feat that can be used to take Influence Nature, taking advantage of his high nature skill, though we're going to start looking at medicine next, so you could also look at battle medicine if you would prefer that. An ability boost to intelligence makes him trained in stealth for this build, or whatever you might find to be appropriate for your campaign. Being a largely ranged combatant, Chiron has some innate safety, which may make toughness at 7th level seem a little superfluous. If you do feel that way, I'd look into canny acumen instead and apply it to his will saves. This may not do anything now, but it will make him a master in will saves down the line, which feels appropriate given the more cerebral aspect of this character. Then, as I said, he'll start increasing his medicine to become an expert in it. Mainly for the sake of simply getting higher spell levels, Chiron takes up Expert Eldritch Archer spellcasting at 12th level, granting him access to 4th rank spells to begin with. You can take whatever spells tickle your fancy here. Firing spells through his bow isn't super important to the character, but having higher levels for Force Barrage and the like is handy. Looking at a skill feat this level, I would take advantage of his freshly increased medicine, 
pick up continual recovery, as I do think Chiron is a bit better suited for out of combat healing, and I'm not entirely certain why I feel that way. It just kind of sticks in my craw. We've touched on at least some aspect of most of Chiron's abilities at this point, except for one. We changed that with Trample at 13th level, giving Chiron a way to recreate his giddy up ability. This was my primary reason behind going for the Iron Hoof Heritage, just to give him a slightly better unarmed attack for when he uses this effect. Over on the blog, I also started including hand wraps in his gear around this point, trying to keep the damage just a little bit more competitive. But I do like to imagine this ability is a great way to put some distance between Chiron and enemies that close on him, while also getting some damage in. With his expertise in medicine from last level, this time around he's looking to become a master in it through this skill increase. The Eldritch Archer's Seeker Arrow is a solid choice at 14th level that gives Chiron a single action strike that will follow enemies around corners. This feels a little truer to the concept of masterful shots with arrows that home in on targets, but Force Barrage may actually better cover the actual effects of it. I'll leave that up to you to decide. Looking at skill feats, I take up Advanced First Aid, with his ability to remove conditions akin to the cleansing effects of Chiron's training exercise. Going first helps Chiron lay out some buffs, particularly Monster Hunter, to help his teammates, which makes Incredible Initiative at 15th level a nice slot in for his general feat. There's quite a few skills to go through here. Additional lore makes him a legend in centaur lore, an actual skill increase does the same for nature, and then an increase to intelligence makes him trained in intimidation as well. 16th level allows Chiron to start shooting through walls with Phase Arrow, an important aspect of his Centaurus ultimate and one that considerably increases his accuracy when it comes to sniping armored opponents. For this level's skill feat, something about Biographical Eye feels right to me, letting him read the potential of prospective pupils that are applying for his vaunted tutelage. It's a weirder one again, so if it isn't your thing, I do still think that Battle Medicine isn't a bad slot in. The Centaur Ancestry has some very cool ancestry feats, I am only sorry that I couldn't show you all of them, but I am glad that I was able to include Starshot Arrow at 17th level. Where Phase Arrow is more the mechanical effects for Centaurus, this falls more in line with the actual effects, letting him channel Celestial Energy into his arrow and then loosing it with powerful effects. It is also cool that this is only a single action to do that doesn't seem to have any cooldown, so you could fire three of these in a round. Largely for the sake of skill feats then, he will become a legend in medicine through his skill increase. Thanks to the increases to nature throughout this build, a skill that he is getting some crazy use out of, Chiron can pick up Master Eldritch Archer spellcasting at 18th level, granting him more spells and increasing his DC. Though he should be sticking to spell attacks made with his bow, and his force barrage to cover his masterful shots. While that feat is thanks to his legendary nature, the legendary medic skill feat comes from, well, his legendary medicine. This grants him the ability to restore some pretty serious conditions, just not in the midst of battle, and is taken in the spirit of the cleansing effect of training exercise. Chiron uses Feather Step as his 19th level general feat to put distance between himself and foes that get into melee with him while he's in difficult terrain, and it isn't advisable to trample them, such as them having reactive strike or a similar reaction. We'll round out his skill selections with Society, becoming a legend in it to better use his cognitive crossover. There was likely a spell that could have been taken through Chiron's archetype to represent the damaging area of his training exercise, but given his low DCs, even with them being at Master at this point, I think the better route to go is to take Impossible Volley at 20th level. This lets him hit a solid 10 foot radius burst, using an attack roll at minus 2, which isn't a bad deal. Admittedly, it doesn't quite fit with the explosion of his effect, but it's area damage, so we'll take it. As for his final skill feat, Unusual Treatment fulfills a similar role to the Legendary Medic and Advanced First Aid that we've already looked at, simply netting him additional effect of this type that coincides with when he's treating wounds. While that covers 20th level, before this Scholar of Sagas saunters off, let's talk about some free archetype options. The obvious answer in such a circumstance is doubling down on the route of Eldritch Archer, though there's not too many other feats that he wants from it. So in addition to this, he could look at the Standard Archer dedication, particularly with feats like Assisting Shot and Point Blank Shot to help fill up those earlier levels. A very solid get though from his Ranger class that will be freed up from going this route is Legendary Monster Hunter, 
increasing the bonus that he provides to all his allies with both Monster Hunter and Monster Warden. Now before we close out this video, let's talk Turkey on his trotting tactical teacher and review what we've built. Chiron is an Iron Hoof Centaur Ranger with the Precision Edge and the Teacher background, befitting his role as a mentor and trainer of numerous legendary heroes. He explores that aspect of his character, which goes a little underpronounced within the game he comes from, through several options, such as Proud Mentor, Mentor of Legends, and the Monster Hunter Feet line. He fights from afar with a longbow, though I could see going for a shortbow instead to keep him in range to aid his allies, and he expands on his options with it through the Eldritch Archer dedication. He can focus on the nature skill and cover his herbal medicine passive through both his natural medicine and his skilled herbalist feats. Training exercise is a little difficult to create since Chiron is a martial class, but the cleansing and CC immunity can come a little bit from Monster Warden or Advanced First Aid, and he eventually works up to an area attack through Impossible Volley. Though he could also probably pick up a spell from his archetype to create this effect as well. Inflicting lowered protections at range as a marshal can be a little hard, but to cover that aspect of his masterful shots, Chiron may have to rely on his precision edge to punch through his enemy's defenses. When it comes to its activated effect, he can fire multiple seeker arrows or pick up a force barrage from his archetype. Giddy Up is his easiest ability to replicate through the centaur's trample feat, which is also why he went for the Iron Hoof Heritage, granting him a slightly heftier unarmed option for this feat. For his final ability, Centaurus, Faye's arrow can pierce through obstacles, whereas Starshot arrow better fits the theme of it, channeling the might of the stars into his shots. This makes for a highly capable archer who can support his teammates in a variety of ways, while still launching powerful shots at foes who think themselves safely positioned. Our animalistic and arcane archer ably aims at adversaries even in adverse arenas, all while advising allies to annihilate aggravating abominations. I do have some more How the Wild builds coming up, mostly focusing on the new ancestries while I try to figure out how exactly to incorporate the other content. So let me know what you think of this build and what other sorts of build you'd like to see in a comment below. Check out the blog or Twitter for additional character sheets or item suggestions for each level, which are linked in the description. Then after all that, get ready to dive into the belly of the beast for next week's build and have a fantastic Friday.